And here we go again. We're still in the pub here at McNulty's Pub, uh, a.k.a. McNulty's Book Corral. And I'm just funning you folks. Uh, here, have a swig. Mm. I'll have it for you. Mmm. Well, you know, I'm sure most of you do what I do and you drink a lot of lemonade. Uh, and uh, I'm just funning you. All right, have fun. Uh, because you all have a great sense of humor, judging from most of your comments. Um, we're doing a follow-up episode here at uh, McNulty's Book Corral on Preston and Child, Bloodless. All right, came out this summer. And I read this at the cabin, and I didn't do an episode of it there. Um, I had to think about it for a while. I, this is a masterpiece. Uh, it is so over the top. Uh, it's an Agent Pendergast series uh, book. I have an episode devoted to Preston and Child. I am a huge fan uh, of Preston and Child. And when I read this, uh, the second half of the book goes off in a direction that um, just stunned me. And apparently it stunned a lot of people. Um, the series has always had a, a slight touch of science fiction associated with it from the very first book, uh, Relic. And uh, it was never blatant. Uh, there's a couple of them where a little more than others, um, you know, uh, things like that. But in this one, it takes a turn uh, that is just so so wild uh, that I have to recommend this is this is the book of the year for me uh, it's also a great book to read at Halloween uh, believe it or not it's yes it's a it's still a detective thriller a mystery and so forth um, but the Pendergast series has always been a little more than that too uh, I'm not gonna tell you what happens I, I, you really if you if you're familiar with the series and you haven't read this book you need to read this talk about Pulp Fiction okay um, I've never met the authors. I would love to, to meet them. I bet these two guys are fascinating. Um, but uh, they're so wonderful. Uh, their books, both together and individually, I talked about them in that episode. Um, but with this one, they really put the icing on the cake, then they stuck the candle in, they lit it, and then they had a lot of fun. And uh, man, oh man, uh, Pulp Fiction. Obviously, I've been um, influenced by the Pulp Fiction era as well as the great novels from the first half of the last century. Doesn't that sound odd to say that, but it's true. Um, and I've done all these episodes on these old books and this stuff, you know, you can look at it. So you know what I like. Uh, there's no secret about the things that I like and the things that I study and so forth. And with this one, they do a little bit of everything. Um, you have a detective thriller. He's an FBI agent, of course. And you have that usual cast of characters. And then you have this science fiction element um, that is so over the top, so incredible, so brilliantly realized that um, I'm sure, I didn't look at the Amazon reviews. Um, I've talked to people that I know read the series. Um, I understand that the book is a bestseller and has generally great reviews. Um, I know that there's a few people I've talked to that were like so shocked by this because of the really wild turn that it takes. Uh, and it does. It's just incredible. But you know what? It works. And reading is about uh, suspending your disbelief. Reading adventure novels like this is about suspending your disbelief and getting caught up in the world, the imaginative world that these people created for you to be entertained by. And boy, do Preston and Child just kick ass with this book. <laughs> this book it's just the wildest one of all the Agent uh, Pendergast series. Uh, I, I think it's a masterpiece. Um, I don't recommend, and I don't think that they should go that wild with everything they do, and they don't. You know, they've done so many of these, but with this one, they chose to, and you know what? Good for them. Congratulations, guys. You just kicked ass. <laughs> this is the book of the year. It, really, if you're a, a fan of adventure fiction, as I am, obviously, all right, take a look at what I've been talking about. And there you have the book of the year right there. Even if you've never read them before, just read this and you're going to just like, you're, you know, it just goes off. So uh, I wanted to do this special follow-up episode on Preston and Child because I mentioned in my original episode I had a book on um, pre-order. This, this was it, all right? <laughs> and man, I read this up at the cabin and it was like, man, oh man. Uh, so there you go. And so, ladies and gentlemen, 
Three cheers for Preston and Child. Bloodless. Book of the year as far as McNulty's book corral is concerned. Stay well.